there used to be uh, a concept called the duty to retreat. And what that said was that if you were out somewhere and you were faced with this imminent threat of death, great bodily harm, or sexual assault, and you would justifiably or be justified in using lethal force to defend yourself, you still had a duty to retreat from the situation where retreat was practical and wouldn't put you at any greater risk of harm. So that if you were, say, in your car and it was just as easy to drive off, you could do that. <clears throat> or if you had some other means of retreat from the situation that, again, wouldn't put you at any greater risk of harm, you had a duty to do that before using lethal force. The overriding concept being that the law looks upon killing people very seriously, even when you would be justified in doing so. <clears throat> That's going to be kind of an overarching theme uh, as we go forward. There was an exception to the duty to retreat, and this is what Rick refers to as the castle doctrine. And that said that if you were at home, then there's no duty to retreat. So if you're faced with a imminent threat at your house, in your house, then you don't have to go running from the living room to the kitchen before you can defend yourself from that threat. <clears throat> I'll, try, I'll give you two 